It's time for another vlog. Yeah, <laughs> BTS vlog, anyways. Yeah, the bad boy didn't vlog over the weekend, so this is what we're gonna have to do here. And but we are at another point in time where we're doing another channel update again. Why are we doing another channel update? Because we actually moved further. And what's happening now is uh, you'll see that uh, Cyborg Alpha is going to start spreading out a little bit more. Uh, we're spreading out to our second channel. The reason for this is that um, uh, the way YouTube subscriptions work, it is really restrictive in, t in terms of the type of stuff you can have on it, uh, in terms of what shows up on the subscription playlist, in terms of the recommendations, and what, can what comes up. Uh, so my solution, my workaround, is actually to um, uh, set up different channels, and I've done, I had done this before, set up different channels, and use these different channels via the Android uh, to take a look at a variety of different uh, uh, areas and assign them to a particular channels. So I'm giving an example, uh, Cyborg Alpha TV 2, which you'll see, as, and you'll see this as, as you'll see this on Twitter, as I'm on that channel, I'm uh, searching through different videos and so on and so forth. You'll see electronics, you'll see Linux uh, videos, you'll see uh, uh, videos in the uh, sort of the technical origins of uh, robotics, uh, Androids, uh, um, uh, open source software, electronics, uh, in that area there. There's another one for physics. I have a, a channel for physics that will be dedicated to physics, all the different things in physics. I have one for the Byzantine and Antiquity site that will be anthropology, archaeology, um, and so on and so forth. In other words, each, I have a channel for that will cover a good number of uh, research areas and provide us, or and us by, me, I, by us I mean uh, myself and Cyborg Alpha, will provide us with a means to actually uh, uh, produce more videos, produce more content, and use actually uh, YouTube itself as a means to uh, provide some of the sources. Some of the sources have to be gotten outside of YouTube, but you can sort of gauge and see what's going on and, and what's being done in the research community uh, by seeing what's actually being put out on YouTube. And that will sort of give you an idea of how to sort of structure um, your documentaries or whatever you're doing and that's sort of where I'm going with this is I'm using uh, other people's work on YouTube as a reference as to maybe where I should be going in terms of, what, in terms of the, the uh, documentary direction uh, the type of things I should be publishing the type of things I should be uh, putting out uh, and the manner in which I put this stuff out so these are things that all that all these things have to be sort of thought about and as uh, I said what I've gotten done now is I've gotten 90 to 95 percent of the office onto Android here and now is the next step to actually get it functioning in the office to uh, sort of bring in uh, a lot of the office functionality that I think the stuff I would normally do in the office uh, to get it done here and so it'd be done anywhere whether I'm out on research or I'm actually in on the office so that's sort of what's gonna be happening now and I get to test it out basically every weekend I get to test it out to see how things are going uh, we're, I'm away for about two days on the, uh, from Saturday and Sunday uh, on the weekend and I get to sort of test out to see okay I'm away from my systems uh, do my work on here and then when I come back to the system start syncing up on Monday and so far things are going more pretty well I've ran into some problems but I've also developed good workarounds from so that basically uh, the tablet is functioning as a desktop so this is where you know if you want to ask yourself where is the power of Linux? The power of Linux is that you can turn a tablet into a desktop and it'll be as functional. You can bring your entire office down to a tablet size and you know uh, who doesn't want that to sort of carry your office around so you, you know if you want you want to be outside during the nice day uh, you don't have to be sort of stuck in your office all day long. Anyways uh, as for uh, the actual TV shows uh, this week uh, the goal is to start working on the edit and, and not start working on start working on and finishing the editing desk. That's what's been holding up a lot of the production. We haven't finished the work on the editing desk yet. And once the work on the editing desk is done, then the regular production schedule will start again uh, for uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek and all the other different uh, episodes that are coming out now. Uh, there is going to be uh, work done this week on uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix et al. 
and cyborgs and cyber uh, cyborgs and cybernetics. Those two things will also have uh, uh, segments coming out on, uh, and so basically, watch for that this week. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, it's uh, onwards and upwards. We should be seeing uh, just about a weekly update on the channels and on IPTV. So, anyways, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later.